Montana's news leader. It's a summer they're still talking about in Sealy Lake, even in the middle of the winter. The Rice Ridge fire had a devastating effect on the forest, people's health, and the economy. MTN's Augusta McDonald was at a community meeting last night where many of the agencies involved with working that fire came back to answer questions. Augusta. Residents walked away from this summer with a lot of questions about how the fire and evacuations were managed. And last night, the room was packed from wall to wall as community groups brought together many of the agencies who were responsible for some big decisions and put them in the hot seat. The extreme fire conditions that defined summer 2017's fire season also set apart some moments and decisions that were made during the course of the volatile 160,000 acre Rice Ridge fire. You know, 45,000 acres to well over 100,000 acres overnight. The elementary school multi-purpose room was packed Wednesday night with people who lived through it. There were a lot of questions about the fire. It was a, you know, a very major event over what they say 72 days in length. Um, and a, a lot of the information on a fire this size is not necessarily readily available to the community. So it was an opportunity for us to get all the experts together and make sure that the factual information about what was involved in this fire was presented to the community and at the same time allow them to ask some questions back about what they may have about what occurred during those 72 days. One Sealy Lake resident attended Rice Ridge fire meetings throughout the summer. There would probably be 75 to 100 to 125 people in the gym. So uh, it was pretty cool though to see a lot of those same people back here again. Alyssa McLean was evacuated for five weeks. I was surprised that the questions were mild in nature and not really angry. Um, and I think that's because their presentation was very thorough and informative. Panelists came from all over, including the Lolo National Forest and the Missoula County Sheriff's Office, which was responsible for evacuations. They presented information that put the blaze in the context of available resources and surrounding fires. One of the key topics was how Steely Lake can move forward to become a better fire adaptive community. Firewise Montana materials were made available. They talked about how homeowners can make choices on everything from roofing to landscaping to protect their properties in the wildland urban interface, the areas where forests and people converge. As they reflected on decisions made and the opportunities that were taken and lost this summer, one thing is for sure. The memories of the 2017 fire season in Sealy Lake are not going to fade anytime soon. Jill. All right, thank you, Augusta. We have more information about Firewise Montana on our websites. Still ahead, Aaron is back with a potentially snowy forecast for the week. Hey,